All right, here we're gonna take a look at units retreating. So a unit's gonna retreat if they have a combat action done against them and they lose. So let's say our SS squad here has been forced to retreat. So when it comes to retreating, your retreating units for the most part always have to retreat back to your side. So our SS squad here is never going to retreat in this direction. They're always going to retreat back towards their own side. Now, the first place they're going to go is an adjacent sector behind them. So this SS squad would go here, but that's only going to be applicable if there's no enemy unit there. So let's say we did have an enemy unit there, making this invalid for them. If they were forced to retreat there, they'd be eliminated. If you have a situation like that where you can't retreat to the adjacent sector, you are allowed to re uh, retreat to the adjacent area. So they could go to their left here, again, as long as there were no enemy units located there. Now, if they were in a situation like this, let's say that their adjacent area here has an enemy unit, the adjacent sector has an enemy unit, and let's say this is the edge of the board. There's no valid location for them to retreat to. In that case, if they have no valid path to retreat to that's not away from an enemy or off the board, then the unit is going to become eliminated. Now, I know we haven't got into resolving terrain just yet, which does have some of its own special rules, but you do need to keep in mind that if a unit retreats into a sector like this one that has no terrain card in it, see there's no terrain card, you will have to draw a terrain card to place for that sector. And when it's a retreat, a unit cannot refuse whatever terrain card is drawn. 